Let's jump into those three prospecting strategies. The first one being rolling 100. So I semi explained a little bit of it, but rolling 100 is a list of 100 warm market prospects. Makes sense, right? So you've got a you've got a rolling 100. And the reason it's rolling, as you can see from the bottom, is say you've got you know 98, 99. 100, right? So you got John, you, you got to have Betty, right? I've always got Betty and everything. John, Betty, and Sue. So if Betty, she's a buyer every time. Oh gosh, Betty's are buyers. So she buys from you. She buys what? car insurance, whatever, right? So you take her off the list, but you replace her with somebody else, right? So that's why it's a rolling 100. There's always a hundred names that are active, active for you to talk to. This is something that I used early on and it freaking crushed it for me because it's a better concept than, hey, go write down 500 people that you know, right? It's a hundred. It starts small. hundred is easy. Like there's a book out there called Prospecting Made Easy that says if you can't write down 500 people, prospects, then you're not serious about prospecting. So 100 is easy, and you have this rolling 100. So it's a list of warm market prospects. I always say that every agent has $100,000 waiting for them in their rolling 100, right? You guys saw me make at least half that, right, in eight months off of these, and probably only about the first four or five months because I kind of slowed down on it. The problem is too many agents think that they're that they're out of warm market prospects after they've run out of their close friends and family to sell. But that's not actually true. So let's go through some ideas of who could be part of your rolling 100. Obviously relatives, friends. And as we roll through this, start making a list and thinking of names, right? You're, you're part of this. Let's make some freaking notes and start to put some of this into action. Relatives, friends. Friends of friends that you've met. I, I just thought of three friends of friends that I've met in the last month that I don't that I that I know a little. Didn't you? Parents friends, grandparents friends, teammates from high school and college. I just thought of several as well, right? I thought of a bunch actually. Coaches from those teams, coaches from other teams. Who cares, right? Former High school and college classmates. I just thought of a few. Former teachers. Some of the teachers liked you. Some of them hated you. Well, now's your chance to get, you know, to show them that you, you, you're not a jerk anymore. <laughs> People from church. A favorite waiter from restaurants that you frequent. I've got this restaurant in Springfield that I really like going to. It's called Char, okay? There's a waiter there, Haristo. I, I like that dude, man. He waited on us when we at a Mexican restaurant before. Now he's at the steak restaurant. He remembered us, and the dude's customer service is off the freaking chain. He would be on my rolling 100. He would. People you see at any organization or club that you're a part of. The mechanic you always use. And think about people that you give money to should always be on this list. If you give them money, I believe in, I would tell them, I believe in doing business with people that do business with me. Okay. Perfect. So when you give people money, the guy that mows your lawn, the landscaper, the pool boy, when you don't even have a pool, whatever, right? The mechanic, former coworkers, former bosses, regulars from your last job, people you play rec basket league ball with, softball, right? People you see at the gym. I've got this one guy. Like, I'm giving you so many ideas right now. You've got to be jotting these down. I go to the gym. There's this, name, there's this guy named John there, right, that talks to me every morning when I go to the gym. He's probably 50s, low 50s, low to mid 50s. Um, he's like a big CEO or manager at some place. The dude loves me. He needs to be on my rolling 100, as he does yours, right? I'm not saying he does because he's on mine. He can't be on yours. Your accountant. My CPA owns insurance with us. He just does. I'm going to blow you away with some stories tonight too. 
managers of your favorite stores, your landlord. I got multiple that I need to be on my list, right? Contractor, anyone in your fantasy sports leagues. I've had several realtors that I haven't sold to and, and several I have, right? Na- I've sold neighbors. It's on here. I've sold a lot of fantasy sports leagues. I like that. A lot of people in my fantasy sports leagues are, you know, friends, clients, or they're already agents because I've already recruited them, right? Parents of your children's friends. Na- you got some there. Neighbors, right? Na- na- I've got several neighbors that own policies with me. Previous neighbors, old neighbors, original neighbors, new neighbors, whatever. Barista. You, you guys think I'm nuts. But there's, and, and I, I, I shouldn't have this many stories, right? Because you guys are the one. I'm supposed to be helping you. I'm helping me. There's this chick that knows, there's multiple chicks that this, that know this, know, know my name at the local Starbucks, right? And they talk to me every time I go in there. And when I don't go in there for a week because I start making it at home, they're like, oh, Cody, where you been? You know, we missed you. There's always, always more people to talk to. Any of your insurance agents, any insurance agents you know, Right? There could be, and, and by that, there could be agents that sell PNC that don't sell life, or that sell life but don't sell PNC, that don't sell group benefits, that don't sell Medicare, right? Whatever. The salesman who sold you your car. Multiple. Actually, funny story there, I bought my BMW X5 about four months ago. And when I bought that car, the guy wanted a couple million dollar life insurance quote. So there you go. Just from buying a car right? This actually works. Like there is hundreds of thousands of dollars sitting and waiting on you to grow up and do your job. Realtor, several realtors. My sister's my realtor now, so that one's out, but several realtors before. So that's how it should look. You write a hundred names. If they say no, they shouldn't say no. Like I don't get a no when I call my warm market. I don't get a no. If they say no, or you can't help them slash can't help. There you go. That's good. If they say like like I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hold of all of them. No, can't help, or they buy right. Then I mark them off the list like Betty because every Betty's a buyer. So that's how it should look. Does that make sense so far? Okay. It's what I like to call the rolling 100. It's the best warm market concept in the industry, bar none.